Good morning, uh, Miss Minister. Uh, could you please tell us, 2013, how was the tourism year for Greece and uh, what are your expectations for 2014? 2013 was a record year for Greek tourism, both in terms of arrivals and also in terms of uh, revenue. Uh, and uh, we are looking forward to an even better 2014. Uh, the first messages that we have are very positive and uh, we are not relaxing. We are actually um, trying even harder in order continue to... Continue to promotions, I think. Exactly, continue with the promotions and also uh, continuing to enrich our tourism product and the quality services that we provide in order for uh, the good first positive messages to be realized in 2014. What was the uh, arrival figures 2013? I mean, uh, okay, we are going to the end of November. What is your expectations? What is the end of year, your arrival number? Well, we will be waiting for uh, the year to close in order to, to be able to... Right uh, now? The, what is the figure? Um, the exact numbers, but uh, the figures show that uh, it has been more, m even more than 17.5 uh, million visitors. Visitors. About the revenue? Uh, about 12 billion US dollars. B Euro. Ah, okay. Euro. Oh, okay. And uh, now the second question. Also, uh, you mentioned that for 2014 in your speech, uh, you have a seven uh, strategy for 2000. Could you please shortly tell us which are that seven strategies? Well, we are working in promoting Greece both to our traditional source markets, which are mainly the European source markets, and also uh, the uh, new and upcoming uh, source markets, uh, such as uh, Russia, China, uh, Latin America, but also to source markets which uh, are uh, countries neighboring Greece, such as Turkey, Serbia and uh, Israel. Uh, we are working a lot online, uh, mm. making promotion through the internet and the social media, and also working together with uh, some of the most important players in the international uh, tourism industry. As I know, uh, you will open in near future a uh, tourist office in Istanbul, so I would like to ask the relations, tourism relations between Turkey and uh, Greece and as I know lots of Turkish people visiting to Greece they enjoy and also some visa conditions. What do you say about uh, do you organize or do you arrange some uh, easy step for the visa? Well first of all uh, I would uh, like to say that uh, for uh, Greece, uh, Turkey is uh, one of uh, the new and the most important uh, source markets and, uh, and we believe that uh, it's important to work uh, on steadily building uh, relations between Greece and Turkey on the tourism field. Uh, this is something that uh, we have been working on uh, for these past uh, months and um, part of our strategy is opening a new office of uh, the Greek National Tourism Organization in Istanbul in order to provide information about Greek uh, tourism. Of course the visa issue is always uh, um, uh, an issue for um, further facilitating uh, the movement of uh, uh, Turkish uh, citizens to Greece. We have been having uh, a lot of um, good news these past uh, years, especially with uh, the visa um, the special visa program for the islands of the Aegean operating in the summer months and uh, this was the second year that uh, we had this uh, program and uh, uh, it went very well and also operating visa centers in, uh, in Turkey in order to, to facilitate the, uh, the visa issuing for Turkish uh, citizens. Uh, this is something that we will be discussing with my counterparts on the Turkish uh, side and, uh, and I'm very happy that uh, I will be in Istanbul next week uh, for a, an event to promote Greek tourism uh, and also an event that will bring uh, Greeks and Turks together in order to discuss our uh, relations in the sector of tourism. Thank you so much Thank for you. the short